So when I go to any of the screens in the system, let's say the customer screen for example, you're going to get this toolbar that opens up at the top and then you're going to get the screen in the middle of the uh, in the middle of your monitor. All of them have the ability to do an add so if you click the add button it blanks the screen ready to add a new record. I'm just going to escape and say cancel adding. They also have an edit button so if you click the edit button it puts you into the uh, into the record and then you can go ahead and make changes and either F10 to save or if I edit and I make a change that I don't want to keep I can just escape and it will go back without saving that change. There's a delete button which you can press and it will either ask you whether you want to delete the item or it will give you a warning something like this which tells you this can't be deleted because and it'll give you the reason here in this case there's orders in the system for this customer. And there are also vouchers, so it's checked both. Um, the navigation buttons are common. If you do top, it will take you to the very first record in the screen that you're looking at. You can go next, next, or prior, or you can go to the bottom. A uh, very handy thing that works in conjunction with that is if you go to the record menu and you go to sort, you can actually choose what order that it goes through the screen in when you are doing that. So right now I have a set to customer number. So as I go prior and next, it'll go in customer number order. But if I changed it to alpha sort order, and I could even do descending, then you'll see the alpha sort down here. So this customer's alpha sort is US customer. And if I go next, it will then go through the customers in descending alphabetic order. The find button is a special way to locate information in the system. When you click the Find button, it will blank all the fields in the screen. And you can tab down and find something that you're interested in. Let's say I put in ONT in this third line of the address, and I'll either click Start or I could have pressed F10. And what it'll do is it will find all of the customers where ONT appeared in that third line of the address as you can see right there. List brings up a list which is available for all the various different screens. I just press the home key to go to the top of the list. I'm cursoring down through the list with the down arrow key and I can hit N to go to the bottom of the list. I can tab over and whatever column that you tab into uh, will change the sort order. So I've just tapped into the customer number column and you can now see as I scroll through here that we're sorting uh, by customer number. If I shift tab back now I'm sorting alphabetically by the alpha sort and over here it's sorting by telephone number. So you'll notice that in the various different screens throughout PIX that the columns that you can tab into are configured to be sortable on the column that you're sitting in. If I press enter and uh, from a list it will take me to the record that I was looking at in the list. Uh, as I mentioned a few minutes ago we have save and cancel buttons uh, which the keyboard equivalents are F10 for save and escape for cancel and an easy way to remember that if you forget is that on the record menu all of the functions in the toolbar are shown with their keyboard shortcuts. So add is control A, duplicate is control U, edit is control E and so on. So you can see here what all of the different shortcuts are. I talked about sort a couple minutes ago. There are a couple things on the record menu that don't have buttons on the toolbar. Sort is one of them and filter is another one. Filter is, uh, is also a very handy way to limit the records that you're looking at. So I'm on the customer screen here. What I might want to do is set up a filter where, I'll use the same example, where address 3 begins with ONT and I'm going to say OK and that has set up a filter. I can store that filter so I could go Ontario customers and then I can say OK and what that's going to do is that's going to only allow me to see customers with ONT at the beginning of that third line of address as you can see here as I scroll through. I can then bring that filter back up if I wish. There's a checkbox beside it to show you that it's been enabled and I can either uh, reset the filter which gets rid of it or I can retrieve it because I saved it a minute ago oh, and I have it out there twice. I can go like that and like that and then I've got the filter back in place again which you can tell right there. 
The close button is how you get out of the screen. Uh, I'm going to bring up a couple screens on top of each other and show you how that works. So if I bring that customer screen back up, and then let's say I want to bring up the vendor screen. So I now have two windows open in PICS, and all you need to do, you can move them around by grabbing their title bar like that. If you highlight the other one, it will switch to that one. The toolbar operates on the one that's currently uh, active. You can tell it's active because the title bar goes to this dark color. And if you go down here and look, now this one is active because its title bar has gone to that color. You can tell that this one is not active right now because its bar has gone to this grayish color. So the toolbar is going to be speaking to the screen that is active at the time. Once you open one or more screens, they get added to the window list here. So you can also switch this way. I could go back to the customers by picking window and then picking the screen I want to go to. And the other thing you can do on the window menu is you can cycle which steps through them. And if you had a number of them open, you would see that. And you can also close them all in one click by doing that.